nice and colorful and vivid and heavy strokes. That's like the hardest thing to do is to come up with something that everybody can recognize out of a room full of artists and say, hey, that's Rodney King. African-American, you're going to be able to tell that my art comes from like the love of the culture. You know, that's, that's what's gonna bleed through the canvas. The longest piece that I've done is uh, a Seattle skyline piece that I currently have at my um, show at uh, Access. That piece took me over 40 hours. You got into pain, you know, like basically over like the uh, course of the pandemic. Started off like reading the Bible on a daily basis, you know, and just basically praying to the Lord, you know, for something that um, I could do to knock upon my time because, you know, I was used to connecting with so many people. So started uh, drawing again, but you know, it was, uh, it was taxing on my hand. My wife asked me if I ever painted and uh, I said no, but you know, it can be too dissimilar from uh, drawing. Over like the last four years, you know, I've just created a large body of uh, work. My inspiration comes from celebration of like the black culture. It comes from documentaries that I've watched, books that I have read, songs I was listening to, nostalgic memories of my childhood. Everything about that time period, you know, that influenced, you know, my stock of where I actually like to create. My wife would always hit me with like, you need to develop your style. Paint what's in your heart. Family is just, you know, my driving force and everything is my motivation. I met my wife and, um, like 97, you know, when I was working at like Old Country Buffet, you know, when I was in high school. My wife is always going to be inspirational in pieces that I create. She gives me ideas, you know, cause if I'm stuck into a certain um, block where I'm just focusing on like say hip hop, she might say, hey, you know, you love Aretha Franklin, why don't you do an Aretha Franklin piece? So by her just putting me over there, I'm like, okay, now I wanna do a Chuck Berry piece. Now I wanna do a Teddy Pendergrass piece. Now I wanna do like a Soul Train piece. And so it just gets me going into like a Motown type vibe. The Central District, you know, is near and dear to my heart. Like when my mom moved us up here from St. Louis back in like 1980, I was raised on 29th and Dearborn. Due to like Africatown and um, different initiatives, you know, different people trying to buy up the block, they're, they're basically trying to save what we had growing up, you know, um, back in the 70s and the 80s. And so I will do my part in order to make sure that we continue to have our lasting legacy in the Central District, you know, until the end of time. When the going gets tough, I find my motivation from the celebration of, of life you know, and realizing that every day that we're here is a blessing. Uh, Talib Kweli, you know, had one of my favorite songs, Life is a Beautiful Struggle. I thought about that a lot during COVID, you know, because you're watching the news and you're seeing how people were taken away from us way before their time. And so you start wondering like, what is time and who defines your time? And when will your time be up? And so when I would just think about that so much, I started really thinking about how I wanted to be remembered. And as I picked up the brush and I started making, you know, more ways through the art and that I want to, you know, paint as much that I can to leave it like, you know, like a Sumerian uh, tablet, you know, something that can be deciphered over time and spoke about in, in my absence. absence. Hey there, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch um, this mini doc that I shot with Rodney. Him and I recently met at a show we had at Gallery Access on Pioneer Square, and we just instantly clicked. Um, we talked about working together on this project, and it was a great time just um, watching him do his thing as I sat back with my camera, observing uh, while trying to tell a story for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy that. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, 
please do that uh, and watch out for more work that I'll be putting out. And hit a like because um, it goes a long way. You know, the algorithm learns that there, there is something of value that's being provided here. And as a freelance artist, uh, that, that means a lot. So until next time, thank you.